Boris Johnson will face one of his toughest battles during Brexit negotiations as he attempts to secure supremacy for UK fishing vessels. Mr Johnson has in the past declared he will scrap the much maligned Common Fisheries Policy CFP once the UK is out of the EU. In light of threats towards UK vessels from European fishermen, we're asking express.co.uk readers, should Boris Johnson bulk up the Royal Navy to protect UK fishing rights? This poll has now closed. See results here. Since Brexit Day, the row over the future of UK waters has intensified with some British fishermen fearing their ships could be torn. There has also been speculation EU fishermen could blockade UK boats from entering key ports on the continent. Following Brexit Day, the French government accused the London Fisheries Convention of being disrespectful after they lost their licence to fish in Guernsey. Dave Gillingham, from Alderney, Guernsey, said he had been warned by French fishermen his catch would not be safe in France, he said, they could blockade the port if we try to land or set fire to our boats. It has all been done in the past. In the summer of 2018, British scallop fishermen clashed with their French rivals and there are fears these clashes could reoccur. Piero Le Keminant, 53, of Guernsey, said, the email said it was not safe for us to go in there and that if we went, our fish would be destroyed, French fishermen are up in arms and I can see why. The paperwork the French need hasn't been provided yet by the Guernsey authorities. The French feel that if they can't fish in our waters, then we shouldn't be able to land fish in theirs. In order to defend against potential attacks from EU fishermen the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs DEFRA, has lined up to two extra fishing vessels to bolster the Royal Navy's Fishery Protection Squadron FPS. Politico has reported, two more ships will help prevent unlicensed fishing while 22 others can be scrambled at short notice while a further 35 enforcement officers have also been recruited. The FPS is currently made up of four river-class patrol vessels and a helicopter. They patrol approximately 80,000 square miles of Britain in order to secure fishing rights. Mr Johnson has been put under pressure to secure British fishing rights but the EU has already begun to insist on crucial trade-offs during negotiations. In order for the UK to access the single market, EU officials have stated British fishing waters must remain open to foreign vessels. Hank Bakker, a Dutch trawler captain told the BBC that without access to waters his trade would be severely hit. He said, if the English say we cannot fish in their area, we cannot come here, we will lose a lot of fishing ground. We don't fight, both sides lose. Governments are doing nothing for the fishermen. For all the fishermen, there's no future. So you cannot say what next week will bring.